Hola, buenos días, es Nico. <música>
fuck it. You know, he's recording people illegally. I'm going to put the pictures in here. So basically, they started dragging him. And you know, at first I was like, oh, wow, y'all shouldn't be dragging him because he's more feminine presenting and he uses filters brighter than my future because he bleaches. And then I saw the color of his tweets and I was like, mm. And then I saw Henry's tweets and I was like, mm. I was just like, oh, you know what, girl, you deserve it. You deserve it. So at this point, Yardy Style has basically removed all of his porn vids. He has said, I'm going to come back and talk about this later at, at a later date. And we're all just sitting here like, girl, you're going to come back and talk about it. You, we already know who you are. We know that you're a sexual predator because you fucking record people without their knowledge. What do you mean you're going to come back and talk about it? Y'all know it's illegal to record people without their knowledge, right? Because the... <laughs> I think this caused a ripple effect. Do you know what I mean? Because now DL Freak Twitter accounts are deactivated and left and right because they're getting exposed, bitch. Because they're getting exposed. And I'm just like, I don't know what to tell you. Yardy Style deserved what he got because he was he was doing some trifling shit. Everybody else that's currently deactivating and getting exposed, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why the sudden, or I mean, I, I understand that he was a big account. Like he was a really big account with lots of numbers, but it's like, I didn't expect it to be a domino effect and for like DL Twitter to go run and hide. It, it, it's interesting. It's an interesting turnout. And I, I, I don't feel bad for him. Am I supposed to feel sorry for that bitch? Because I don't. You that It's just such a personal violation of space. It's, I, I'm, I'm not with it. I'm not with it. But you know what? I was just going to bring you guys the tea because that's something that I was not expecting. Like, it happened so quickly at that. It's like, I remember I was on the timeline and somebody was like, girl, Yachty is ugly and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, y'all saw his face? He had this picture with Max Connor where you can completely see that he bleaches. It is not a good angle on him. I don't know why they decided to post that. So, <laughs> while collecting the screenshots for this video, um, I came across that he had subtweeted me on my original tweet about it. And he, allegedly, he said he's been hacked. So, I'm gonna post the screenshots of what he said happened and um, the number that's allegedly trying to extort him. So, we'll see. But at the same time, it's just a, it's a very convenient, you know, it's very convenient that he was hacked the day everything broke loose. Like, the day he was exposed, the day um, somebody posted, you know, the day Henry posted about being filmed without his consent. So allegedly he has been hacked. I full on believe he still bleaches. I mean, th those pictures aren't photoshopped or edited. That Those are pictures that have been on the internet for a minute. So it's like, I believe he, like he, he still bleaches. Like that's true. But at the same time, I don't know. You know, tell me what you guys think. Do you think that it's all been hacked and this is all just a smear campaign or because I personally don't see why someone would go through that much. Like, someone would do all of that just to fuck with Yardy style. You know, that's personally. Comment if you think that this is a smear campaign, if you think that it's true. That's the tea. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> if you like this video, if you like, uh, I, uh, there's a lot of Twitter drama going on recently. I don't know what the fuck is that. But if you like this kind of content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you want more videos like this, well, I usually talk about like more in-depth LGBT topics on my uh, channel, like you already know. Uh, if you also want more videos like that, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Nico's Aesthetics. If you like video games, try out twitch.tv slash Nico's Aesthetics. It's all branding. Everything is Nico's Aesthetics. If, if, if you want to find me, if you want to you chat with me, if you want to pay me attention, if you want to help pay my bill. <laughs> if you want thirst traps, check out Instagram. If you want humor, check out Twitter. But yeah. Tell me what you guys think, because I was surprised by the amounts of, like, victim blaming that Henry got because he was recorded without his knowledge. It's like, I, I don't understand that. A lot of a lot of men are kind of fucked up in the head, if I'm being quite honest. But yeah, tell me your opinions on the, the Yardy Gate situation. What did you think about his big reveal? Did y'all actually think that he was physically not up there do you think they were mad because he was just not the deal top that they thought he was gonna be do you think it was the bleaching and the the gas station color contacts tell me leave a comment i'll see you guys next time <laughs> and once again a quick thank you to all my patrons on patreon and a quick shout out to my third eye tier patrons your support means everything to me and helps me do this a lot more smoothly i will also be listing this week's live stream topic in case anybody wants to join in on the fun i'll see you guys there